What's going up everybody? It's Cheney the Great back for Inktober Day 13. So if you didn't see the last video, I did the word whale. And you should go check it out because it was one of my like favorite stylized drawings I've done all month. And this month, or this day, is just as awesome in my opinion. I really like the style that this came out. Today's word was um, guarded. <laughs> I had to think for a second. It was the word guarded. So I've been doing like political and satirical themes throughout this entire month. So if you haven't seen my previous videos, then go check those out. Um, they're all in this same playlist. But I really wanted to touch on the like how guarded society is. And the best way I thought about representing that was through like the fear that the public has of mass shootings. Because obviously like mass shootings have become a serious problem in this country. But it's put a lot of people on guard, and it's put a lot of people on edge, and it's brought out different sides of people, whether, like, no matter what your opinions are, or what stance you believe we should take towards the situation, everyone's on guard, and it's just brought different aspects out of people. So I decided um, to play on that idea of school shootings, and I'm not trying to make light heart of a serious situation like if you were involved in anything like this or know anyone who was or you're just sensitive about this topic I'm really not trying to make fun of it I'm not trying to like like make this into a funny situation at all but I did want to make a satirical cartoon and this is how I chose to do it so um, I drew a backpack and at the top of this paper it's gonna say back to school that's the last thing I put on but basically, it's this idea that a kid is packing the school and they've got their backpack open. You can see their math book, their notebooks. They've got a marker in there, a pencil. You can see in the side pocket. And there's just like a regular back-to-school backpack. Except for in the front pocket, there's a gun in it. And the idea behind this <laughs> was that the child has to stay guarded at school with all this crazy shit going on. You know what I mean? Like... They can any day. They can't be safe going to school because of all this stuff that's going on. So they have to stay guarded. That was my idea, and I kind of realized after drawing it and after committing to this that it could be taken in the way that this is someone packing for a mass shooting. Like the sh this is the shooter's backpack. That's not the way I intended it. I mean. I guess either way it kind of gets the same point across, it's just the stance of the victim or the shooter, but I definitely meant this to be like the victim's bag, like they're on guard because of all these crazy people. But I understand if someone looks at this, they could think that this is like a kid bringing a gun to school to shoot the school, and I was taking it as like a defensive thing. So I mean, either way you look at it, I guess it's the same thing, like the same idea is there that someone's going to school for a mass shooting and they've got a gun in their backpack so i guess it could be taken both ways but i definitely meant it to be like the victim <laughs> so just just to put that out there but um as i mentioned the, in the beginning of the video this was actually one of my favorite drawings the way it looked not necessarily the meaning behind it but just like i said in the last video like just the way this one looks it looks so clean and it looks nice to me and this is like Although it's just a simple little cartoon, it just looks really good, and it, I guess it's not that it's like that spectacular of a drawing, but it just looks exactly how I wanted it to look. Like, when I imagined this before sketching anything, this is exactly how it looked in my head. And whenever you put something on paper or on canvas or whatever medium you work in, and it turns out exactly like how you envisioned it before you began. That's like the most incredible feeling in the world. That's how you know you have something successful. Not necessarily if you make money off a piece or if you get a lot of likes or whatever. But when you make exactly what's in your head, that's like the greatest thing an artist can do. So this one came out exactly how I wanted it. It just looks so awesome. And again, I'm using the brush pen. And another, another day with the brush pen. I talked about this a little bit at the end of the last video. But... I just kind of let the brush, like, I don't pay too much attention to it when I'm using it, and so I just use my hand as I normally would, and I get really fat lines and really thin lines, but I'm not trying to control that. I'm completely letting the pen, like, choose what kind of line it makes, and I really like the style that, so far, that it's come out in all these drawings that I've done with it, and I really like that brush pen. I definitely didn't used to like it, but I'm definitely liking it a lot more now. So all I'm adding onto this backpack is just a little bit of decoration. I have a little, like, just, like, pins that people might put on their backpacks. I don't know if people still do that. Do people still do that? Let me know if people still do that if you're in school. 
but I've got one that just says go team kind of like a school spirit and then I have one that has like a little cat figure on it some it's like inspired by a cat it's not necessarily a real cat and another one with the American flag because I did want to emphasize that this is indeed America but anyways yeah that's pretty much the uh, the drawing there I'm adding some few details and some shading but this is pretty much the finished product and uh, if you want to see all of my inktober drawings if you don't want to watch the videos, then go check out my Instagram at CTG Graffiti. That's just my username, initials, CTG, and then the word graffiti after it. And it'll be in the description at, uh, and at the end of this video. So all my Inktober drawings are there. And also go check out everyone else's because people are doing some really incredible stuff. And I mentioned before, but it's insane how like every single one of us has the same prompt and we all make completely different things. But I hope you enjoy it. I'm sorry if this is like super touchy. I really didn't mean it to be that way, but it is a topic I wanted to address. But I'll see you guys in the next video.